Hey y'all, what's up? It's Friday, so I'm gonna keep it black, but I'm gonna keep it brief. Oh my God, Barbados has finally cut its colonial ties with Great Britain. Ugh, we love to see it. See, what had happened was, Barbados had actually negotiated its freedom from the Queen in 1966. But instead of becoming a free nation, they became a part of the Commonwealth realm, which meant that the Queen was still head of state. This week, they transitioned out of Commonwealth status to become a republic. <laughs> Yes, sir. When they removed the queen from her station, exited the constitutional monarchy, and elected their very first president, a black woman. Cause duh, cause period. Upon being sworn in, Governor General Sandra Mason said, we ought no longer be found loitering, hello, on colonial premises, a queen. Well, they don't do queens no more. <laughs> I know that's right. I would, however, like you to take note that all this triumph and celebration is occurring in 2021, 20, 394 years after the British occupied Barbados. And now that's not 400 years of slavery as some would like to lump together just to express oppression. But let me paint a picture for you. Take them to school. When the British occupied Barbados in 1627, they came over there with captives, started with slavery from jump. Girl, the BBC had the nerve to call them people imported manpower. Ah! Ooh, white people crazy as hell. <laughs> On top of that, slavery in Barbados was far more cruel than in the Americas. People who owned slaves used extreme, sadistic measures of violence to keep black people in line because across the Caribbean, white folk were greatly outnumbered. The British Empire didn't abolish slavery until 1807, which really only means they started selling new black people into slavery illegally in much smaller numbers. I would also like to take this time to highlight Booster's Rebellion, a revolt that happened in 1816, one of the largest slave insurrections in history where over 20,000 enslaved people from over 70 plantations rose up. And they just don't get enough credit, and I don't like that. Anywho, it wasn't until 1834 when Great Britain abolished slavery itself. But you know the white folk can't never just give us free. They made enslaved people in the West Indies, including Barbados, matriculate into freedom through a four-year apprenticeship program, where black people continue to work 45-hour work weeks without pay while still living on the plantation. It's giving sharecropping! Black workers continue to be exploited for their labor in the sugar economy from then up until their independence in 1966. But even after transitioning to tourism, white Bayesians have been continuing to capitalize off Barbadian land and black labor, because even though they only account for 2.5% of the population, they still own most of the land. Today, in 2021, colonialism is still out here thriving, alive and well. By the US too, not just European. Guam, Puerto Rico. I think Hawaii would also like us to leave them alone. And not just large scale colonization, gentrification count too. Oh, so I'm a colonizer because I want affordable housing? To feel safe walking my dog in the hood in a walkable distance to the nearest Trader Joe's? No, Sue Ellen. You're a colonizer because you moved to an area for a better living situation. After somebody else came in and pushed the natives out by force, made the natives unwelcome, and set the space up for your needs and your money, just like they did America. <laughs> now let me be clear, shit's still not sweet in Barbados. Bayesians will still like an apology as well. Prince Charles pulled up talking about slavery was an atrocious thing, but the people of Barbados showed great fortitude. Freedom, justice, and self-determination have been your guide. That's not your line, bro. We here cause of y'all. Meanwhile, the citizens looking at each other like, who invited this nigga? He doesn't even go here. Protesters plan to pull up during his speech to also demand reparations, but the Barbadian government shut it down because they were also giving him an award. And it's just so unfortunate that even when trying to truly recognize freedom, we still gotta make white folk comfortable. Well, girls, cause they stand in the Commonwealth realm and gotta keep up appearances to receive some of the economic shelter. I thought you said they left the Commonwealth, but they stand in the Commonwealth realm? Girl, that's what the internet said. Oh, Rihanna also got an award. Rihanna, if you're watching. I love you. <laughs>